If you're an underwater filmmaker or photographer, you know just how hard getting perfect colors is underwater, particularly from a videography perspective, where pulling accurate and lifelike colors from an underwater scene in post-production is often very difficult to even impossible at times. If you're not an underwater videographer, what we are talking about is that green wash you see with beginner underwater footage. A common example is the hideously green underwater GoPro footage that you've no doubt come across at one point or another. Explaining this in the simplest of terms without diving into the physics behind wavelengths and comparing the wavelengths of the visible color spectrum to things like gamma and x-rays, light has a very hard time passing through water, with red, orange and yellow tones not being able to penetrate even the shallowest of water. Once we get to approximately 10 meters deep, the only light that is able to penetrate the water column is green and blue, making all of your footage look like you're shooting through green cellophane wrap. This light or wavelength principle applies both vertically and horizontally to make things even harder. Essentially, this means that underwater, we have to very meticulously dial in our colors every minute or two while shooting, depending on both the depth we're filming at and the distance of our subject, all while accounting for things like how far the beam of our artificial lights travel and the Kelvin of our artificial lights. Even for the most experienced underwater shooters, this is often something that is quite tricky to perfect. But imagine a world where we can capture perfect colors every single time with absolutely no effort at all. A world where the water is always blue and our subject is always color accurate. This is the power of red raw files. Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Tom Park and I'm an underwater and wildlife cinematographer. Throughout this series, we're discussing the world of underwater and documentary cinematography, where I'll teach you some of the things that I've learned over the last decade working as an underwater and wildlife cinematographer. If you're interested in this sort of thing, subscribe and let me know down below what you film and just for fun, what's the best shot you've ever messed up. It's good to talk about this stuff as I guarantee, no matter where you are in your journey, you're not alone. And I know that I've messed up my share of epic shots. As an underwater specialist, for me, color is everything. Nailing color underwater every single time is a very difficult thing, and it requires a near constant tinkering to nail. Personally, nailing underwater color is one of the things that I pride myself on, and it's one of the leading reasons that my clients keep coming back to me, because with a good understanding of underwater color and meticulous color management, even the worst underwater scenes can look decent, and the good ones can look incredible. But this is where Red Digital Cinema's R3D RAW format comes into play and truly revolutionizes color and white balance management, offering perfect colors every single time. R3D RAW files are like a digital canvas that retain every color nuance and detail of your underwater scene. Using Red's IPP2 image processing pipeline and its wide color gamut, it allows every color that the camera's sensor can generate to be manipulated in post-production without clipping. Breaking that down, essentially the colors can be manipulated to perfection in post-production such that you can simply set the colors perfectly every time in your edit with no drawbacks. It operates a little differently to the raw photograph, but the base principle is the same. And for underwater video shooters, it's truly a game changer. But red raw files don't just exceed in their ability to manipulate color perfectly. They also capture an incredible amount more color detail than most other cameras. Only two or three years ago, mirrorless DSLRs maxed out with 8-bit color depth, where these cameras can record 16.7 million colors. It sounds like a lot, but in reality, when we compare it to how good the human eye is, it's not. And we would often see banding across the screen in 8-bit shots, particularly in scenes where there is a strong gradient in light or some hard or excessive editing has occurred. The 16-bit red RAW files, on the other hand, that come out of the Komodo and Raptor, capture an unbelievable 281 trillion colors. That's nearly 17 million times more colors than 8-bit cameras, and 1.5 million times as many colors as the 10-bit files of most of today's leading mirrorless cameras. In practice, this extreme level of color perfection preserves the vibrancy and subtlety of underwater hues, and showcases the ocean's rich blues and intricate shades to a level that I had never thought before possible. There's a reason BBC and Nat Geo always have picture-perfect underwater visuals, and that's 
because they're using red raw files. It's better than real life. It's always perfect, even when the ocean is far from it. And as an underwater cinematographer, this level of color accuracy and depth is truly what dreams are made of. I feel like I should probably mention it, but the 6K and 8K recording is, you know, it's also pretty nice. Even with the power of Red Raw and my fingertips though, I still do meticulously set my colors in camera, but the added flexibility of guaranteed perfection is why these cameras are a requirement for higher end productions and documentaries. Anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one.